This video was produced in a studio environment with de-energized equipment. Follow the cable or component manufacturer's instructions and your standard operating procedures when using Speed Systems tools. This presentation demonstrates the steps necessary to prepare underground primary cable for termination using the Speed Systems 1542 2AS combination stripper and semicon scorer and the LPW 1525 TK120XN probe tool with neutral winder. The 1542 series strippers are designed for cables from 1 half inch to 1 and 3 quarter inches in diameter over the semicon shield. This roughly translates to 1000 MCM and smaller when stripping 5 kV cable, 750 MCM and smaller 15 kV cable, 350 MCM and smaller 25 kV cable, and 3 aught and smaller 35 kV cable. Refer to the Speed Systems Mark series tools for larger cables. Measure and mark the strip back length of the outer jacket. Follow the instructions provided by the component supplier to determine the proper strip back length. Set the 1542 2AS to the scoring function by fully retracting the stripping blade. Slide the lock to the scoring position and extend the scoring blade. Be careful to set the blade depth to avoid hitting any of the neutral wires. Set the scoring blade to the square cut position and place the tool on the cable at the strip back mark. Rotate the tool around the cable several times to score a ring cut around the outer jacket and remove the tool from the cable. Use your pliers such as the Speed Systems SC13 to pull a neutral wire back approximately one to one and one half inch. Insert the neutral into the center hole of the neutral winder. Ratchet the tool down and around the cable until the tool reaches the square cut. This method protects the neutral wire and prevents breakage by maintaining an even pressure on the neutral as it is pulled through the outer jacket. Unwind and remove the neutral wire from the probe tool. Remove the outer jacket and pull the remaining neutrals out of the way of the installation. Set the semicon scoring blade depth to score most of the way through the semicon. Visually verify the depth of cut against the semicon on the end of the cable. With the blade in the square cut position, place the tool on the cable with the blade at the proper semicon strip back length. Rotate the tool around the cable to score a ring cut on the semicon. Without removing the tool from the cable, change the blade to the strip cut position and rotate the tool around the cable, allowing the tool to walk to the end of the cable. Fully retract the semicon scoring blade. Move the lock to the stripping position and extend the stripping blade. Set the blade depth so the blade misses the conductor by approximately 1 16th of an inch. Rotate the tool backwards around the cable before cutting the insulation to ensure that the blade will not hit the conductor at any point. Adjust the blade depth if necessary and recheck. Set the blade cutting angle to the width of spiral you desire. Approximately one quarter inch is ideal. As a general rule, harder insulation materials require a smaller spiral than softer materials. The 1646X scale gauge accessory allows you to easily set the correct strip back length. Set the scale gauge to the length specified in the instructions. Spiral the tool down the cable until the conductor hits the scale gauge. The tool automatically squares off the cut when using the scale gauge accessory. When not using the scale gauge accessory, or when stripping larger conductor sizes, you need to move the blade lever to the square cut position to square off the cut. Open the jaws to remove the tool and insulation from the cable. Use a knife, such as the Speed Systems SC11 Edge Wedge, to lift the edge of the semicon so you can grab it with pliers, such as the Speed Systems SC13 Semicon Roller Grip. Use the semicon roller grip to roll the semicon from the insulation until you reach the square cut. Use gentle pressure toward the square cut and keep the distance between the pliers and the cable to a minimum to prevent tearing of the semicon. You may see a spiral pattern on the insulation. Rub your thumbnail along the insulation to ensure that it is just a shadow line left by the impression of the blade and not a cut into the insulation. It is helpful to chamfer the insulation to ease the installation of molded rubber products. See the Speed Systems Chamfering Tool video 
for a demonstration. This concludes the steps for preparing underground primary cable for termination using the 1542 2AS combination stripper. Speed Systems, providing quality American-made tools since 1970.